Hello and welcome or welcome back to Life on the French. It is workout Wednesday, so today I have for you a walking toning exercise. It's a little more intense than the walking exercise from before. Um, so I hope you are ready to hop into this workout with me. Let's jump into it. So we're just starting this workout by doing some step behind and claps. So you'll notice that my leg is going cross behind me. So it's not straight back, it's a cross. And that's gonna work your glutes a little bit more. And when I pull my arms back and forth, I'm working my shoulder blades. Now I'm working my different arm muscles in this up and down motion. But again, the step remains the same, so I'm stepping cross behind. Now I'm doing some pullbacks. Again, pulling those shoulder muscles. Pretend you're actually trying to move something from front to back and then just do a butt kick. Now I'm gonna move into some walking burpees. These are tough, but they work all of the core muscle groups. I'm not doing any jumps here because this is a no jump full body workout. And again, stepping behind in that cross position. Now lifting my arms up. It's about getting that whole body warmed up. And now we're going back into those walking burpees, which will warm you up real quick. Now I'm just doing some shoulder taps. So staying in that plank position, you just tap your shoulder. You wanna make sure you're still engaging your core. Even though you're engaging your core, if you can feel and tap it, or just by making sure your back doesn't arch down. Here we're moving into some fire uh, hydrants. Again, you want to focus on using your glutes to move your leg not your leg muscles. Switching sides. Now here what I'm doing is I'm keeping my legs straight and lifting it with my glute as high as I can. Making that mind-muscle connection to the glute and when I bring it back down, I'm barely touching the floor. It's all about control in this move. Switching sides. Again, maintaining that control and that mind-muscle connection. I've got my toe pointed, but really the main thing that you care about with this one is your glutes. Make sure you are connecting to your glutes. Here I'm just doing some donkey kicks that go out and then into chest. So these, your leg is bent the entire time. Again, my muscle connection to the glute. So now we're moving from glutes two abs and we're doing some laying walking as pitch perfect would describe it we're doing some some laying running we're just doing some large scissor kicks making sure your abs are engaged you want to use your ab muscles and you know you're using your ab muscles by keeping your abs pressed against the ground now we're holding our legs in a lower position before moving into butterfly kicks so these are really just smaller scissor kicks. I've moved my hands to under my uh, butt so that it's a little more comfortable. But again, make sure you're still engaging your core. This is a core exercise more than a leg exercise. 
Now I'm going into some mountain climbers at a moderate pace. This will work your core, this is gonna work your legs, this is gonna work your arms. Overall, it's a great exercise to do for a full body workout. Now I'm pulling up and then pulling back. Again, this is a shoulder workout. And you can notice I'm twisting when I pull back. And now here we're going to go into a plank position and do cross mountain climbers. So in this, you twist your body and bend your knee. These are a little bit more challenging. If they're too challenging, you can do regular mountain climbers, but no worries, because we're moving on and we're doing some walking. Now we're doing some standing crunches. So in these, I'm going in, out, in, out, in, out. And that leg is going behind me. That's what's gonna engage my glute. The crunch down is gonna engage my abs. And of course, my arms moving, it's gonna engage my arms. Again, great exercise, and it's gonna get that heart rate up. And I've switched sides. Just doing some side steps and some arm pumps. All right, here we go, we're getting ready. And we're doing some squats. The key to a sit squat is that you wanna make sure that your knees are not going over your toes. I have my arms in front of you, in front of myself, but you can also have them pressed against each other in like a prayer position. Now I'm doing some step to the sides with my arms crossing over me, turning my head to the side. Give it a little flare, like a little dance party. All right, and now I'm doing some backwards lunges or genuflecting or reverse lunges, however you want to call it. But again, you see I'm pressing my arms together. And then I'm going back to my dancing. Now here I'm doing some pull downs. So with the pull down, you're reaching up and then lifting your knee to chest. This is gonna engage your abs, it's gonna engage your arms, a little bit of your legs. Again, full body. And then right back to the dancing. start to rest easy because we're moving into the cool down. I'm just doing some arm pumps. Again, feeling ourselves because we just did a really tough workout, but we're cooling down. You don't want to just stop cold turkey. And we still got a little bit more to go. So here we're engaging some balancing skills. We're doing lift the knee and twist towards your knee. It's going to engage your obliques and your abs. And again, it's gonna help your balance doing it this slowly. But in a moment, we're gonna start moving it to a faster pace. Here we go. And this is working those, the, that core muscles. And it's also going to get your heart rate a little bit up because we're not quite done working out yet. 
but we're getting pretty darn close. You've made it this far, you can finish it to the end. All right, so now I'm doing some marching and I'm twisting my arms around my body that's engaging my obliques. Now here, to finish up, we're just gonna do some lifting the leg in the front. So I'm just lifting my leg forward. I'm imagining there's a string from the top of my head attached to my ceiling. I hope you enjoyed this week's workout and you'll be joining us next week for our Wednesday workout. If you want to see more of my workouts or my other content we post on a lot of different subjects, click subscribe, ding the bell button to know when we post. But again, workouts are going to be posted every Wednesday, so I hope to see you there. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!